guys, Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a um, Yang reading for November the 30th until December the 6th. So I am going to use 11 different decks. Um, and I'm going to do a Celtic wing. So I'm going to pull a different card for every position. All right, so let's begin with um, the Tarot Illuminati. So I have the book here. It's by Kim Huggins and Eric D. Or sorry, C. Dune. I don't know. So let me just pull one card. So this is going to be for um, the present position for the masculine energy. All right, and. So the next deck is The Search of Unicorns by Suzanne Starr. So this is going to be for the foundation. Okay, next is just a Gilded Rider Waite deck. So this is going to be for the past position. So this is The Dreamer's Journal um, by Barbara Moore. So this will be for what the masculine is hoping for and likely to get. Okay, and next is um, the Easy Tarot uh, by Josephine Ellershaw. And then this is the Witch's Tarot, um, Ellen Dugan. So this is going to be, so this was a crossroads position. This is going to be um, what the masculine is resisting. So next is the steampunk tarot. And this is going to be for the masculine's internal environment. This is by, Fairy by Lenormand. I think I have the book. Yep, there we go. So, um, the external environment. Okay, and let's see here. So, this will be... Um, the outcome the masculine is likely to get for these um, three cards here, this side of the reading. So this is what he wants and this is what he's likely to get. Or sorry, what he wants and likely to get and this is what he will get. And so for the summary outcome, that was, uh, sorry, Osho Zen Tarot. Um, so for the summary outcome is Call It, Baron Reed, Enchanted Map. Okay, oop, give, give it one more shuffle. Okay, and so for the final outcome is call it Baron Reed. Um, uh, oh gosh, what, what is this? Wisdom of the Oracle? Yeah, Wisdom of the Oracle. So 
what is the final outcome? Okay, and I'm, I think I'm just going to look at the bottom of this deck for the overall energy, which is by the book. All right, and um, I'm likely to use clarifiers, so let me just give my deck a quick shuffle. Whoa! So the Seven of Pentacles just jumped out. So let me grab that real quick. Whoops, sorry. Ah! Sorry. Okay, sorry, it fell off the table. So let me try and adjust that. Um, and you're just going to have to trust that I did not um, touch the cards. Whoa, what is with the energy? Okay, so I'm trying to shuffle, shuffle these again. So, um, the masculine reading had the tower twice, and the tower was in the masculine's present position, so, wow, that's what the tower feels like. It comes in suddenly, out of the blue, you're not expecting it, bam, your life changes forever. Okay, so what is in the masculine's present position? So I, I'm not going to read reversals for these. I should have looked at the decks to make sure they weren't upside down. But look at that. The Two of Cups. Yeah. Um, so this is spiritual union. So this is like deep love, unconditional love that they feel for one another. Recognizing your soulmate or twin flame. So the masculine is feeling this deep love. And, um, and it's a 5D connection. Okay. So what is the foundation? is the page of wands interesting um so the page is beginning a new adventure it's very similar energy to, to the fool um so there's this enthusiasm this excitement um you know of beginning an adventure that has to do with spiritual growth so the Page of Wands could also mean communication, exciting news coming in. So there's this excitement that has been building um, regarding, you know, creating this new life, this spiritual bond with um, your yin energy, feminine energy, your twin counterpart. So I'm going to pull one clarifier for that just to see. Oh, wow. Okay, so there we go. Ace of Cups. Um, Ace of Cups is a new beginning of love, so this is why the masculine is feeling so excited and passionate. Um, so there's this desire to move forward towards love, towards begin beginning a new connection. So this card only shows up when you're truly ready to receive love into your life. You've let go of the past, you've healed your wounds, um, you've forgiven yourself and forgiven others. So we have this new beginning and excitement coming in as a foundation and so that is definitely why the masculine is feeling so passionate in the present moment so i'm going to pull one clarify uh, clarifier for that as well okay so the sacral chakra is where your emotions are stored and because this card is you know what i'm going to just move some of these cards out of my way i'm slipping and sliding all over the place here Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I guess they're sprayed on camera, isn't it? Sorry. Move that over there. Woo. And one more deck to get rid of. All right. Sorry. Okay, so what was I saying over here? So the Two of Cups. Um, so the sacral chakra is a lower vibration. It is a, a, the second chakra. So usually I, I would read this as a negative or a lower, you know, a lower tone on the scale of enlightenment, if you want to call it that. So, uh, but since I'm seeing it coupled with the two cups, um, there's this emotional connection that the masculine is feeling. Um, there's a desire to express his emotions. Um, he's feeling 
uh, you know, this deep, deep love in his heart, and he there's this desire to express it or just relish in it, really. Um, so what's coming in the past position is the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So this is groundedness, long-term goals manifested into the 3D reality. The, the feminine had the Ten of Pentacles uh, in her past position as well, and I think it was coming in in the near future. I can't remember. So there's this groundedness, this sense of family, completion, safety. Um, however, the masculine on the masculine side, there was a sense of not feeling safe with the base chakra. So let's see. I'm going to pull one card for that. Three of Wands. Um, okay, so hopefully, you know, that base chakra will be addressed in the rest of the cards. But right now I'm feeling, you know, this desire to manifest and, you know, have this happy home stability and groundedness in his 3D reality. And he's being encouraged with the three of wands, <clears throat> this is a thumbs up from spirit saying you're on the right path, keep going. So it's manifestation. So there's, it's almost like um, a dream will, a dream will be realized, and so that he's really excited about this dream, um, the possibility of it manifesting. Right. So we have this togetherness um, being repeated over and over. So there's this love. Um, and excitement about this love, right? It's, it's a very similar energy of this page, right? This excitement of this new adventure, um, and it has to do with this new beginning of love. And same thing here, same thing here, right? So um, repeated energy. So what is it that he is hoping for and likely to get is the magician, the master manifester. So this is a very powerful energy, number one, so it's a new beginning as well. So here we have a 10, which reduces to a 1. The page is a new beginning, so it's kind of considered to be that 1 energy. Um, the Ace of Cups reduces to 1. Um, here we have the union of the 1s in a twin flame um, bond. Uh, and then the Magician is a 1. So there's this newness um, that is flowing through the reading, the sense of completion and and excitement to uh, have a new beginning. And it's almost like that vision is already felt within the masculine in the 3D. You know, there's this sense of safety there. Okay, so one card, whoops, as a clarifier. The universe, wow. Um, so the universe card was the overall energy of the reading for the Twin Flames. and. Uh, the feminine got the universe card or world card in her past position. So, again, there's a sense of a completion. The final piece of the puzzle is about to be placed so that this new beginning can fully be manifested. So the masculine desires this. He desires to manifest his dreams, his thoughts into reality. He's, he's tapping into the collective and realizing how powerful he is. Um, so... You know, this is acknowledgement from the universe um, that you, you know, you are connected and, um, you know, there's this master kind of feeling of achievement here. Um, so this is abundance coming into your life. So this is a completion of a cycle from 20 years up to lifetime. All right. So what is in the near future it is the Ten of Pentacles again. Wow. Wow. So the same card twice. So it's coming from the past and it's manifested again into the future. So it's what I'm feeling strongly is he's really holding on to that vibration of completion. Right. And um, so for some twin flames, there's this you know, spiritual union may be a reality in the 3D. Not for all, but for some, right? There's this completion and beginning. All right, so one card, Queen of Cups. There you go. It's another crazy synchronicity. 
So she turned up as a confirmation card in the near future. There's that sense that, that the Malskin wants to communicate with her. Um, and the Queen of Cups showed up as a final outcome on the masculine side. So this Queen of Cups is somebody who is deeply loving, unconditional love, gentle, nurturing, but is he she is the object of his affection and love and there's this sense of completion that's in the near future, you know, or desire to manifest it and feeling like you've are you're already arrived, that you're already there. Okay, so what is in the resisting position is the moon facing your fears and notice how it is a feminine here, right? So, you know, he's afraid to face the unknown. The moon is the shadow side, those um, things that are hidden beneath the surface. Uh, so, you know, there was this mental activity that was coming in, in as a final outcome for the masculine. So there are thoughts that, you know, keep coming up and could escalate to a point where it could f cause him to freeze. Um, but so he's resisting facing his fears. So the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands showed up in the past or distant past position for the feminine. So there's this power, leadership, charismatic energy coming from the feminine, feminine and it's like she almost like has to tone it down a bit of, you know, she's um, a little bit too much possibly for the masculine. Um, it's, you know, there's this fear that's coming from a queen of fire, queen of wands. Um, so, you know, it's like the feminine may have been trying too hard and what I was feeling from the reading is kind of her toning it down, not placing so much attention on the masculine and it, anymore, but turning to self-love. Um, but this power energy was also showing up in terms of the union. The feminine was bringing in the high priest who is a spiritual leader. And this is the same kind of, um, spiritual leader. However, the high priest is, um, somebody who would be like a religious leader or something like that. But um, there's a sense that she's fulfilling her higher calling. Um, so that's her union energy is her turning her attention away and focusing on, you know, um, raising the consciousness <clears throat> of the collective. So, yeah. Um, and, the, and so that energy might be scaring the masculine, you know, why isn't she paying attention to me anymore? Um, you know, am I losing this? Uh, have I missed that opportunity? So what is in the internal environment is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new start, 3D reality. Um, here we have that completion, you know, completely surrounding the masculine. So he, this is the windfall card. The, this is an influx of abundance. Um, it, it is an opportunity, like a new job, um, something that is going to provide stability. Um, so there's a growth element that still needs to come with this card, but uh, this is a, a seed of intention is planted, and the masculine has this vision that he's fully committed to manifesting and has to do with the love of his life. Um, so one card as a clarifier, the Knight of Cups. So the masculine desires to move forward and offer love to the feminine. This is a longing uh, energy and it is a courting card. Okay, so um, the Four of Wands was what the masculine was bringing into the union for the Twin Flame. Uh, connection, so there's this sense, you know, but he was also bringing in the Knight of Swords, which was directionless. So there's this desire to move forward and offer love or connect or, you know, offer commitment um, to start a new life in the 3D reality, and that's definitely what I was, I was picking up earlier, for sure. So Knight of Cups moving towards his Queen of Cups, who represents that long-term commitment and, and real 
um, real, you know, foundation. You know, it, this is something that can't easily be knocked down. So it's like he already made that decision in the past to move forward and make and ha make this happen. So he's in the manifestation phase. He's a magician. He's desiring to be that powerful magician and activate this m abundance into his life. And it's 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 seems to be so easy for him. Look, we got a 10, 10, ace. So there's an 11 all the way across this way. So one up here as well. Remember, the page was a one. So the moon is actually a nine, no, it's an 18, so uh, reduces to a, a nine. Um, so this would be, nine is nearing the completion of a stage. So there's this fear or something is unknown about, you know, that the, the queen of wands, that side of, of the feminine that, <clears throat> sorry, I don't know why my voice is cracking up so much. Um, that side of the feminine that is just so outgoing or, or whatever she's pursuing, it's kind of intimidating or he doesn't fully grasp it or understand it. So what is the external environment? Wow, the key. So if you look at this treasure box, right? It looks like that's the key that fits that lock, right? And so we got this card twice. Um, so it's like the external environment, this feminine queen of cups holds the key to his heart um, and to this ultimate manifestation. So one clarifier. The seven wands. So the masculine had this card in the foundation of uh, for the union energy, uh, the twin flame union energy. He was bringing in the seven wands as a foundation and that was a card that was connected with, oh my god, brain fart, the tower. Oh God, okay, I'm, I can't believe it, I can't remember. Anyway, um, so there was a sense of confidence or needing to speak up, right? Um, express yourself, uh, don't back down. Um, so this energy is coming from the external. So it's like he needs to maybe find confidence in order to turn that key together or she may be too flamboyant or extroverted and that might be pushing him away right with that queen of wands energy or you know because over here we have the page of wands so the the page versus the queen this is more somebody who's just starting a journey you know childlike um, and the Queen of Wands is someone who's really accomplished, right? They're leaders. Uh, so this could be encouraging energy as well. Um, you know, you hold the key to unlock the door, or she holds the key to either lock or unlock the door, either way. So what is the outcome? It is the Thunderbolt. Um, so the Thunderbolt is the tower. <laughs> there's that tower card again so I love the fact that the tower card showed up in the Osho so I'm going to read that to you okay so the card shows a tower being burned destroyed uh, and blown apart. A man and woman are leaping from it, not because they want to, but because they have no choice. In the back, in the background is a transparent meditating figure representing the witnessing consciousness. You might be feeling pretty shaky right now, as if the earth is being, is rocking beneath your feet. Your, the, your sense of security is being challenged, and the natural ten tendency is to try to hold on to whatever you can. 
but this inner earthquake is both necessary and tremendously important if you allow it you're you will emerge from the wreckage stronger and more available for new experiences after the fire the earth is replenished after the storm the air is clear try to watch the destruction with detachment almost as if it were happening to somebody else say yes to the process by meeting it halfway so the outcome is him allowing the tower to fall watching the destruction you know almost welcoming it uh, and remember that in the twin flame reading the death card was coming in in the future to wash the tower away to cleanse it um, you know so there's this newness that's coming in so just one card for a clarifier page of wands again same card so the tower is happening so that the page of wands um, can begin that new adventure right towards love okay so what is the summary outcome is the goblins fears whispering voices um, so what did I do with the book oh my gosh that's right I threw them on the ground didn't I okay so um, I'm just gonna flip the top card and then I'm gonna grab the two books and I'll read these to you Wow the tribe Wow yeah you can definitely feel that for sure um, okay, so just one minute. Okay, so um, I'll read them and then I'll pull a clarifier for it. Okay, so the goblin. Fear is an illusion. Choose love today. Forgive yourself and others. Goblins are born when you're wounded and something essential is lost in that experience. From that point on, as you forget, your wholeness they remain with you in the shadows there they remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your own voice tricking you into believing that you're unworthy victimized or unlovable they hold you hostage through low self-worth self-sabotage and the and the feeling that you're lacking what you need if goblin pays you a visit know that they represent the shadows of your own self or someone else's and that they're leading you into a potentially reactive situation a goblin's card appearance is an opportunity for growth however and a signal that you must love yourself no human is without flaws the goblin's message is that you must release resentments and negative self-talk within you is a spark of the divine ask yourself or sorry ask spirit to help you heal you Miracles can and do happen. Let go of the negativity. Okay, so letting go of those fears, that negativity, that self-talk, right? And you can see that energy is what you're resisting. It is what is holding you back. Um, but ultimately, the tower is going to come in. And uh, it happens whether you're ready for it or not and just know that when it does come in it is meant for your higher good but it does seem to me like you're welcome you're welcoming the tower for sure uh, or pursuing it yeah. okay so just one clarifier for that please spirit five of pentacles okay so the five of pentacles is feeling left out in the cold um, alone disconnected it could also represent a financial loss so there is fear of loss concerning the 3d reality or just feeling disconnected in the 3d um, so you know this is attachments and attachments are born from goblins so really turn that gun to the goblins right and detached from them and this card represents shooting yourself in the foot to also release yourself from the situation and there's a fear of that loss that kind of keeps you um, chained to something very similar energy to the devil card um, but this is aloneness whereas the devil is is being held um, possibly by another person um, so the final outcome is tribe so this is a feeling of togetherness um, somebody who 
is like you so you know you feel at home you feel like you can be yourself express yourself okay so community belonging being seen and understood by others like-minded connections a sense of family and friendship knowing your place in the world so the Oracle message this card signals a new affiliation with a group um, humans are social creatures and we need to know we are useful to our tribes families and communities in a tribe everyone has an important function and feels I matter members in the group provide a sense of belonging of kinship and of purpose that comes from working together for the greater fulfillment of all. Perhaps you're a part of a spiritual community or an artistic one. Perhaps you are in a learning community uh, where you share your love of education. Regardless of its form or focus, your community brings you joy. You will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. Your contribution may be small as showing up or as large as becoming its leader. No matter your position in, in the tribe, your presence is needed. So, um, you know, right now, you know, as a summary outcome, there's a sense of feeling alone, feeling disconnected, um, and knowing who your soulmate is, knowing who your, your true love is. Um, but there's this feeling of um, fear almost of of how passionate this connection is how it makes you feel it's almost creating like a running experience or there is a fear that you need to overcome or face um, ultimately you want to move forward and connect right and, sh and the feminine is your tribe your soulmate so let me pull one card as a clarifier Wow, there's that death card. So this is what's showing up in the future uh, position. It's coming with the tower. Uh, in, this, in the present position was the tower in the twin flame reading for the masculine, and it, in the future position was the death card. So as a final outcome, there's this tribe energy, which is what I'm seeing throughout the, re the reading, right? There's this... Ten of Pentacles energy of stability, of safety, of family, of, you know, connection, soulmate, right? So that you're really, the masculine, you're really seeing how this connection is right. It feels right. And that is what is ushering in the tower, and that is what is um, ushering in the death card. So the death card is transformation, metamorphosis, death of the ego, death of the old identity. Okay, so um, you want to feel like you belong. And in order to feel like you belong, you have to um, release what no longer serves you. So the overall energy is by the book. And remember that for the twin flame reading at the heart was that Eight of Pentacles. And the, the picture there was a, a man and a woman and the man was kind of looking through all these books um, and the woman was kind of looking over his, uh, his shoulder and supporting him that kind of thing and and so this card is by the book so it's kind of that same energy of um, doing things by the book following the rules um, for the betterment of others you know so there's like a stability almost that you're trying to create Okay, so essential meaning, abiding by uh, social rules, conformity, respecting cultural or family customs, universal law. So the relationship message is um, getting along with others entails understanding and respecting who they have become as a result of their environment, uh, culture, and experience. Find the middle ground that allows a relationship to flourish while honoring the individuality of the person, the other person. Play things by the book instead of trying to break the rules or pressure others to conform to the way that you want them to be. Your connection will deepen as a result. So overall energy is, you know, being resilient and, and bending, giving, meeting halfway. 
Um, but what I'm really feeling is the masculine kind of planning it and looking at all the details in the 3D reality and really feeling powerful and hopeful that they, he can take this, this, these tools, this knowledge, this inspiration, this power and manifest that Ten of Pentacles into his life and create this ultimate tribe uh, for himself. So I'm going to pull one card as a uh, final message from the universe. So I'm going to be using the um, Miss and Mermaids. So. Okay, so what final message do you have for the masculine? Stop. Okay. Reaching for sunset. So number 12. Okay, so dusky amber even tide, nightfall creeping ever near. Through my late crepuscular light lets me know the sunset's here. Oh, how I embrace the gloaming, knowing that end is nigh. May there come a brighter morning, I shall greet it by and by. A mermaid surrounded by colorful tropical fish reaches through the water towards the bright rays of sun emitted from the evening sunset, sunset. While the sunset takes place in all of its glory well above the mermaid's undersea realm, she is determined to pull it all the nearer. So the meaning is the journey's end. You are approaching the last leg of a long and tiring journey, one that cannot end soon enough to suit you. You are definitely ready for some closure. Fear not, although this difficult situation has drawn on for so long, there really is an end in sight. Once the dust has cleared, take some time to reflect on what you have been through and make peace with your struggles. Um, sorry, before starting something else. Remember that when one door closes, another opens, and you're definitely poised for a promising new beginning. Reach for the sunset. Embrace the forthcoming dawn of the new day. There you go. So. Um, it's really kind of reflecting that page of wands, excitement, you know, you want to reach for this, this new day, this new beginning. Um, and you know, it's, it's manifesting that 3d connection into, or sorry, that 5d connection into the 3d. That's what you desire. So tap into your power, go for it reach out take that key all right so um, I hope this made sense and I hope it helped um, and I'm sending much love out to you masculines peace oh yeah um, show the love by hitting the sub button cheers